Hello everybody, you're tuning in to uh, DraftingTutorials.com. My name is Casey Kepley and today I'm going to be covering a video on more graphic analysis and looking at actual drawings um, and, and basically taking the drawing and uh, figuring out a few things about the drawing as well as constructing a few different things uh, to get some answers. Now this was a homework assignment that was given to me and uh, we're looking at the uh, <clears throat> percent grade on a slope, um, the slope angle, the bearing of the gas supply line, you know, things of that nature. So just for this video here, um, I wanted to show you the uh, percent grade. So percent grade is basically y over x and y would be your your rise and x is your run now in order to get this uh, initially the only thing we were given was this here you know and your your plane there this is your supply line that's from the horizontal view and then we had one from the frontal view and so in graphic analysis basically <clears throat> in order to get the uh, correct angle and correct slope you have to create an auxiliary view or an, an edge view basically that's true length in the uh, the horizontal plane so we had we're not going to use this down here as our distances uh, to find the uh, percent grade so we're not going to use the rise which would be this here and the run we're not going to use that because that's not true length so we have to find true length first so we're going to go to the horizontal plane use this line here and here um, and you always draw a perpendicular out so that you can get your uh, your true length um, this is also called the folding method so what we did is we just drew construction lines here 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 and there and we drew them all perpendicular okay and then we copied this horizontal one reference line moved it up to the base point <clears throat> after we had our line constructed <coughs> excuse me and that will give us the uh, rise and run now if you if you want to be a hundred percent accurate on your distances just type in list enter at the command prompt uh, select your line, hit enter. This is the link that we got for our run. We do the same. List, enter, and select this line here, and that gives us our rise. Okay, you take those two distances, right? So this is your y, and this is your x. So you take this value up here and divide it by your run, and that gives you your percent grade, which comes out to 25.6082%. Um, now, based on our instructions for this uh, lab, he had us carry them out to four decimal places, so that's what we did. Um, I don't know that that's going to be necessarily the case in every single situation. If not, and let's say you want to go to two decimal places, just type in units hit enter you can change your length in here from precision and you can go down to two decimal places I'm gonna leave it as is right now <clears throat> uh, for the sake of this video now the other thing that I found um, kinda of difficult or a challenge in creating this and getting the information was the area of this object here well if you take a look down here at this object uh, from the frontal plane, it's not the same size as the object here in your horizontal plane because we're looking at it from the top view. And so your frontal view basically provides more or less a, a side angle or a side view of this, so it's not accurate when it comes to true size. In order to find true size, um, you have to draw a edge view 
or a true length line, you know, using the folding method again. But in this case, we decided to use a construction line here and a construction line there. And then there was also one that was drawn from point B all the way down as well. And we just constructed it out from the edge in the frontal plane. So here's my reference line right here. We just took the distance for from here all the way to point B. And that gave me point B. Then we took the distance from A down to the floor. From here to here, that gave me point B. Or I'm sorry, that gave me point A. And then I took this distance over here from point C to the to the uh, reference line. And that is this line here. So we were able to get two sides that way. And then I measure, measured the area for this uh, object. So it, it gets pretty difficult to, to see what's going on here because there's so many different construction lines going on. But that's, uh, that's basically how I got those um, measurements. The other thing, um, let's see here. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I could probably cover. I'm going to save some of this other stuff for different videos just for the sake of time. Um, but that is a good example of how you can create true size from an actual drawing. And if you're dealing with like supply lines and, and up, you know, a drawing looks similar to this, how you can get the, uh, the rise and run and create yourself a true line uh, based off of the information you're given. So that's all I have for today. Um, you're tuning in to DraftingTutorials.com. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and, and like and share the video. Or uh, subscribe to the channel because I'm covering uh, different techniques and strategies that I'm learning in school. And I'm shooting videos on them. That way, as I progress, I can go back and reference this stuff at a later date. Um, and you can as well. So um, that's all I have for today. You guys have a good one. And I'll talk to you soon.